Hey YouTube, it is Dion. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you have not, welcome. And I hope that you will click the subscribe button and become a part of the crazy family that I have dubbed the Troll Nation. Because usually I think I look like a troll. But kind of cute troll, but still a troll. So, I'm out of breath because I just walked to, to go get my mail. Even though it is 9 o'clock, it is still like in the mid 80s and it is humid outside. So, this is the bag that I take with me when I go check my mail. And I got a notification that something I ordered was delivered today. So, I said, let me just go since I painted my face. And even though it's dark, who's going to see me in the dark anyway? But you see that MG? Is it upside down this time? No. Another makeup geek box. And I just threw the bag over there. I realized when I was going through the eyeshadows from before, and I think I might have realized it when I did that video, for every nine shadows you purchase, you get a nine empty pan palette for free. I only ordered 17 shadows. So I'm like, how did I do that? But I did it because I was counting, and because I had the Vegas palette, that came up to 18. And so my brain was like 18 shadows, but it was only 17 single shadows and then the palette. So I'm like, you know what? This is going to really bother my OCD to have this one empty pan. <laughs> And so I went on Makeup Geek, and she does have some things on sale, and so instead of purchasing just the one single shadow, I purchased two more, because whichever one I like most as a transition color, I'll just keep that by itself, because I know I'll hit pan on it, because I'll use it all the time. My dilemma has been, I do want to swatch the shadows. My dilemma is, I want to prolong the life of the shadows as much as possible, which means not touching them, not unwrapping them just letting them sit until my current palettes expire just use up the ones that I have instead of having more um, eyeshadow palettes open and then they're just getting sparsely used versus just using two or three and using them all the time and so that's my dilemma but I do want to swatch them so I can see what goes with what what nine are going to go on this palette what nine are going to go on that palette but I don't want to touch them so I <laughs> And just looking at them, you can't really tell because there are some that are foiled, which means they're high shine. And there's some that are dual chrome. So they might look one way, but then the light hits or reflects and it looks a different way. So I just want to make sure they all go together. So I do want to swatch them. The matte shades, they're pretty much what they are. And I actually did do a video, I just need to upload it, um, of when I opened that package. Let me move my social security thing over here. And move Miss E's package over there. So we're gonna get so that's my dilemma. So we're gonna get into this box. <laughs> and this package slip is so much shorter than the other one. Maybe the other one was like so that's that one. Paper. I'm gonna have so much to clean up. Paper. Paper. <laughs> there is something in here. What is this? All right, let's stick with what I see right now. I purchased, some of their brushes are on sale for like $3 and some change. And so I looked at the reviews and I only purchased one brush. You know, this is hilarious to me that they have one here, please wash your brushes before use with a smiley face. And I know you can't read that, but that's what that says. Because I always wash my brushes before I use them because I have sensitive skin. And it's like, you don't know like what, you know, chemicals might be on here or if it fell on the floor or if people are touching it you know at the factory or whatever and so I always wash my brushes before I use them and I know a lot of people don't I'm watching videos and they're just like taking stuff out of packages and then they're like putting on makeup and I'm just like ew and there's like one strand and I know you guys cannot see it but there's like one that's like sticking right up in the middle there was one strand that was sticking right up in the middle and so this it doesn't say i'm looking on the packaging right there it doesn't say what it is but it's always on a brush makeup geek i don't have zoom so i know what i'm trying it and it says angled stippling brush and so i will use this for foundation and also for concealer maybe for contour so i'm going to put that in there which is the kitchen so i will wash that I purchased, I want to wipe off my lip, <laughs> because I purchased one of their foiled, one of her, one of her foiled lip glosses, and I'm like, ooh, never heard of a foiled lip gloss, 
this color is called backstage this is the packaging foiled makeup geek mg makeup geek lip gloss backstage the color is on here and it's like a purple and hmm let me see there's a mirror back here i do have a uh, clear gloss on Ooh. Ooh. This was on sale also. So it was only a few dollars. I'm trying to think how much was it? Ah, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love a dark lip. And it does go on like a gloss. It goes on really smooth. It's not pulling. It's not tugging. Oh, I love this color. I love a dark lip. Even when I do a dark eye, I love a dark lip. Like, I don't care. They're like, oh, you don't want to overpower the eyeshadow look with a dark lip. Shh. Wow. They had a few different red shades. Um, they had some neutral shades. I like a dark lip when I, I'm realizing I have a thing for purple. I'm going to let this dry down and see what it feels like. I don't think I like it when I go like this. Because then I see line. I see a line like right here and a line right here. Oh my. <laughs> And no, I'm not going to stick my finger around to do that. I'm not going to do that thing. And so, oh, it feels good. I really love this color. Oh, they have some dark red ones too, but looking at the colors on the website, I put on way too much of this because then it's like pulling in the corners of my lips. So don't do what I just did. Do not put on a lot. Just put on like just enough to get it around. I love it. So some of the red ones, they had a dark red that in the picture, it looked not that much different than the purple, even though I think it, it might have been like a bluish red or something like that. It was also really pretty. But I wanted to just get one. Uh, I put on way too much because it is just on the insides of my lips. So now you see what it does when you put too much or if you go too far inside your lip. It doesn't have a flavor, <laughs> which is good since I keep licking it off my lips. <laughs> this is me on my channel. If you love it, click the subscribe button because I am like this all the time. Okay, so I don't know like what this thing is. It's all taped up. Let me see. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel over drying or sticky. Like it doesn't feel like I have to pull my lip, my lips apart. But I definitely went too far inside my lip line. This tape is not coming off, so I'm assuming this is packing tape. But I still have my scissors here, so I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of paper on here. You know, what, I'm gonna just cut through the paper. Sheesh. Look how much paper this was. All right, I am loving this color. I just have to not put on as much. This is really crazy. This is a single shadow that was packaged in all of this paper. And what makes it crazy is that the other single shadow is just in here by itself. Okay, I, I don't know. This, <laughs> that is just so crazy to me. <laughs> This one is a foil shadow and the color is center stage. That's what that looks like. And I do have another bluish type color. This one is Midnight Waltz. And this just says pressed. And so I'm not sure what the finish is on this one. 
it may be a matte but i'll write down below what finish that is <laughs> she sells some of her products in target and so even though i purchased this i'll wear my scissors they have some really good tape they do sell some of her products in some targets and <laughs> i'm laughing because makeup geek <laughs> at target <laughs> i think that's funny so this is one of her quads this is the promise eyeshadow palette and this is what that looks like very neutral palette can use it with anything you can use this this is peachy in person this one down here so either one of these can be used as transition actually all of these can be used as transition shade except this one this one i probably put on the lid and it looks like it might be dual chrome i don't know why i'm gonna try and mess with the light there you go so that's what the colors look like in person and don't my bags look beautiful let's hide the bags ah there we go so this is the promise eyeshadow quad and i don't know why i'm trying to put it back into the packaging oh you know what it is a peachy shade i'm looking on the back but i don't know where the colors are because this one here says peach smoothie but this is peach smoothie so this must be grandstand this must be dark roast and this must be tan lines so those are the shades so they have them opposite on the back so that over there there's one more thing in here and then just more i'm telling you guys the tape they use for this stuff is awesome so that's the box i have a mess to clean up i purchased a um a face palette Usually I don't purchase face palettes because I end up not liking one or two of the colors. The reason I purchased this is because bronze baroness. The reason I purchased this is because on her website, the model that has this on their face, I don't know if it's Alyssa or if it's her sister or no, because they're twins, so they look alike. <laughs> And I'm like, she's almost kind of my complexion, or I'm almost kind of her complexion. So I'm like, if she used all of these and they look good on her, I'm like, I am going to get it. And so that's, that's why I purchased it, because I'm like, ooh. Their packaging is awesome. Flawlessly Ever After Bronze Baroness Face Palette. That's what it says on the back. And it has the colors. Oh, I got fingerprints all over it already. That is, this is gorgeous. And it has the snap closure. This entire part at the top is a mirror. And these are the colors. I'm going to assume they're still opposite, like they were in an eyeshadow palette, which means that this is Splen This is Splendor, this is Heartbreaker, this is Love Bomb, and this is French Kiss. And so there's a highlighter, a contour or bronzer and two blushes and I'm going to dim the light so hopefully these will show up the way they look like in the pan and so that's what those look like and so I'm excited to try this and as I said again I only purchased it because of who the model was and I was able to see it on her complexion which is I think she might be a little I think I might be a few shades and Fenty lighter than she is but it was it still looked very promising and I'm like this may be something that I can just use because I never end up using everything in the face palette. So that's everything that I purchased from Makeup Geek and let me know what you think about should I do the swatches for the shadows or just wait or just put them in palettes and then just not swatch them and just hope they all go together. But it only, it's only two palettes though, so it wouldn't be a big deal to just pull out both at the same time, right? So, thanks guys for watching and accompanying me and opening my mail. And I need somebody to come clean up this mess. <laughs> mm. This still does not feel sticky. I am loving the shine. I'm looking in the mirror back here. I think it might have been less than eight bucks for this. 
feels good. My lips aren't stuck together. I actually forgot that I had it on. And then I looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that color is pretty. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. You'll see me in the next video. Bye. Hey, YouTube. And I can't get it out of the packaging. <sighs> Am I gonna have to cut this open? Like it's supposed to slide out like the eyeshadow one did. Mm -mm. Am I really not, not that strong? All right, I'm gonna just rip it. <sighs> this one is Baron Goddess. I'm sorry, Bronze Baron. Bronze Baron, Baron. <laughs> Bronze Baroness. I can read, I have a doctorate degree. I promise you I do.